Hello my friends, um, I'm uh, here to give you a little insight and support, uh, hopefully it will be support um, for all of you. Now I want to say um, that before everything it's so easy to, especially nowadays everybody is super sensitive and um, everybody blows up at every little thing that people say. Um, you have to be obviously a little bit um, open-minded, there are different perspectives and the same way um, you want me to respect you, then you have to respect me. Um, whatever I'm gonna say, I'm trying to say as with as much um, precision and carefulness. I'm not here to hurt anyone. I'm not here to make anyone feel bad. Um, so try to be uh, nice, sensitive enough and listen to what I have to say. Um, and uh, we're here to love each other, to help each other. And, um, and, I, and I hope what I say is gonna help. If uh, for any reason um, you don't like it, um, then it's, uh, I've tried my best and you can find for other sources of support. Um, but I'm only trying to speak from the heart, uh, from what I've learned, from what I experienced. And after you can draw your own conclusions and um, see if um, you know what you want to do. So, um, so let's try just to have mutual respect. Um, because I respect all of you, um, we can have different beliefs and different understanding, but this group is specifically for those who believe in the Torah, believe there is a God, um, and believe that one has to follow the Torah. Um, and uh, so we all know, yes, there is a problem with having sexual intercourse um, uh, between the same gender, and that's 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 one of the challenge of our generation most people don't understand why men feels like women or women feels like men or why we uh, are attracted to the same sex um, most rabbis don't understand and therefore uh, do terrible mistake um, and don't teach the people how to respect you how to respect uh, the people who struggle with that and um, yeah, it's 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 def re de definitely a problem, and um, I hope I can help a little bit. So I I don't claim to know what the reason are, but I'm gonna explain from my perspective what I understand the reason are. I believe I'm right, but obviously everybody thinks he's right. Um, but you're gonna see that I'm not giving just one answer. I'll say two, three deep possible answers. I think they're all true and every case is obviously different but um, just uh, bear with me and I think you'll have a better understanding. So, um, obviously we're not going to address today how to deal with it. Today we're just going to address, okay, why are things the way they are today? Uh, for those who don't know me, I'm very spiritual, very Kabbalistic, um, you know, for me, there is no coincidence. Uh, I, I obviously, you know, God is everywhere, and everything has a purpose, and every challenge has its reason. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's try to understand why why we have that situation nowadays. So, first of all, first of all, on the really kabbalistic level, spiritual level. When we go at the beginning of creation in the Torah, at the, at the beginning, then we have a whole, um, well, even before we have the whole problem, we have just Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve is, was made male and female. Now, male and female means much more than just the male sex or female sex. Male and female are two different powers. One, the power to give, while the other, power to receive and give back and elevate. Um, the man is not greater than the woman, the woman is not greater than the man. Each one has two amazing powers and they are meant to intermingle with each other and uh, complete each other. Um, so, 
Originally, man was made with one soul, but that soul had the male and female comp power. So, obviously, the fact that God had to split Adam and Eve, right? That means that there was a problem. There was a problem in man. He didn't understand himself. He didn't understand his male and female part, uh, parts or power or, or um, I would say, uh, advantages or qualities. Uh, so because of that, God said, you are, you're, you're missing part of yourself. The part that he was ignoring was actually more his female part. And God said, I have to take it out of from you. So there was man and woman the male and female power, and God took out the female power and then faced it with the male power. And he said, now look, those are the two powers you had in you. Now you have to learn to harmonize with it in order to become one again. So already from the beginning, there was that challenge of identity. Um, when I'm going to explain the deeper reason now, it had to do with obviously having a relationship with God also. Uh, God is neither male nor female. He, it's again giving power and receiving power and whatever. Uh, we can speak for hours about that. But we have a relationship with God, and but first we have to have a relationship with ourselves. And therefore, at the beginning of time, we had that problem. Now we come at the end of time. We know that life is a, is a circle. Whatever happened at the beginning. And all the problems at the beginning now come at the very end to be fixed completely. So we had that identity, that gender problem from the very beginning. Now we're almost at the end of time and we're facing again the same problem. People don't know if they're male, if they're female, male power, female power. They're confused. So, um, so the souls are coming. The souls are coming and revealing themselves and feeling uh, the body feels the, what the soul feels and therefore they, they, it doesn't know, it struggles and it feels a certain way. So, um, in the Sefer Gilgulim, the book of reincarnation, written by the Arizal, um, he, so that's, that's one answer uh, that I'm going to give today, one of the answers of why uh, they are homosexual or um, the feeling of uh, being a male or female in, in the opposite sex, it means it comes from the fact that um, and this, the, those are the people I personally will call the real homosexuals. I know some rabbis don't hold like that. This is my personal opinion based on the Ariza, is that they are actually real homosexual, meaning they really have a male soul or a female soul. And he says they're black and white. You can read it for yourselves in chapter 9 that sometimes a man, male soul goes in a female body and a female soul goes in a male body. And sometimes actually that can be a reason why they cannot have children. There's a way to have children, but that make, it makes it harder. So um, why, why it happens like that? That you can really own, it, it, it says because of certain sins. Now, don't get, don't, uh, don't blow up. Um, we all come back because of sins. The re if I am here today, meaning we all believe in reincarnations, I mean, maybe those people, you, some of you, are not familiar with uh, spirituality, but in Judaism, we believe 90% of the rabbis believe in reincarnations. So, uh, we always have to have some rabbis who disagree, of course. We're Jewish for a reason. So, but, but we mostly agree that we're all reincarnations. Why do we reincarnate it? Because we sinned. We're all reincarnated from Adam and Rishon. We, now, so we have to deal with the consequence. So we all have born with problems. Some people, uh, people, uh, uh, some people are born with health problems. Some people are born with mental problems. Some people are born with emotional problems, so with identity problem or gender problem. So we all have those challenges and problems and one is not a bigger sin than the others. Of course, there's sins that are bigger than others, but that's not the important thing here. The important thing is you have a challenge and really we all have a challenge. This is your specific challenge connected more to sexuality and gender identity. So, so that's the number one reason 
um, I would say is in case of real homosexual, when you really have a source of them, you are you are male and you feel like a female. And, and kids who are three, four years old, they really feel like that already when they grow up. Um, and uh, so, in both cases, those are what I call the real homosexuals. Then there is a second um, reason. The second reason are people that I will call not real homosexual, but who are in a way coping with the homosexual um, uh, reaction, so to speak. I don't know if it's the right words. But basically, um, I met a lot, a lot of homosexuals uh, personally, and they, almost all of um, no, I cannot say almost all of them, but uh, the majority of them that I met um, had some problems with in their in their childhood with um, or problem with their parents uh, disconnect from one side whether it's the male or the female the mother or the father so very bad relationship or no relationship at all um, or neglect or there there was some kind of abuse or some kind of sexual um, uh, sexual problems sexual molestation, sexual abuse, or whatever it is. Um, also, sometimes it can come from um, from very early being exposed to sexuality, not in a negative way, but in a, in a way that uh, uh, basically what happens is our sexual um, tendencies are connected to the brain, obviously, and if we too early tap into different emotions and experiences, it can derail, so to speak, the normal uh, development of uh, the desire for the opposite gender. So, this is studies, I'm not just uh, saying things like that, though there are studies about that. And the idea is that um, then the desire changes and the desire can go as much for male and female. Sometimes that's why we have bisexual who like both. Um, and and you have people who are uh, just love the opposite sex. They have seen a lot of porn from very young age with both male and male, male and female, female and female. And for them, it's the same or they're attracted to, to both. So that can be another reason. And... Um, and that, that would be number two reason for someone being homosexual is because of um, that inner uh, struggle to connect to or a gender that they couldn't connect to and therefore trying to, um, um, uh, you know, trying to, 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 to get that relationship that they never got, so to speak. Um, Obviously, one has to be very honest with oneself. I'm, I, 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 I hope I'm not hurting anyone in the sense that sometimes you go back, it, it really brings you back to your past and you understand certain things. I personally experience certain things and, 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 and therefore I can speak about certain desire also connected to homosexuality. So I'm also speaking from uh, experience. I'm, I'm not uh, just saying things just uh, like that from intellectually. Um, and plus I spoke to a lot of others um, in, in the same case. So that's number two. And and in this case, so homosexuality is not a real homosexual, but it is almost like a real homosexual. It's dealing with feelings and emotions and, um, and uh, challenges that are uh, very strong and very real, and it's very hard to um, to fix it. Very hard to fix it. So what we m most of the time it's not fixable. There's some rare case um, where it's fixable. Again, I'm not here to fix it. Um, I'm not here to tell you you should change or whatever, uh, but just to understand yourself. So there is this part of it is that we have to. Um, just acknowledge why one is like that. Um, so that that will be homosexual, the homosexual who 
who became homosexual because of something that happened. And then number three are the ones who I say are not real homosexual. They are just um, uh, more bisexual, meaning they, for them, they have desire uh, of sex from both gender. And they like as much men and women, but because of uh, the influence of others um, <clears throat> um, from one movement or because uh, it today is fashion and uh, it's almost cool to be uh, gay uh, or it's fighting for something, whatever, then, uh, or the, the, the thrill of experiencing something different, all the things can push someone to say, hey, you know, I'm homosexual or I'm bisexual and... Um, and, but really, that person is not a real um, homosexual. So, those are three different ways to look at it. The real homosexuals, the homosexuals who are almost real in the sense that they went through something and became uh, homosexual as a consequence. And the ones who are not real homosexual, but they have tendency, meaning they became uh, influence to become homosexual um, because of curiosity or of, of, of peer pressure or whatever or curiosity so um, those are the things I don't know if you ever heard about those concepts and ideas um, again whatever the case is we all have our own journey and we all have to um, understand oneself better Nobody is ugly or dis disgusting, or uh, right because uh, the Torah says it's a toeva. There's many other things that a toeva doing about the zara. It's toeva, right? Uh, there's much worse thing than sleeping with the same sex um, uh, gender. Um, we all are mistake today. Everybody is a sinner. I mean, there are a few exceptions, but we're all sinners. We all, you know, ninety percent of the men. They watch porn and uh, watching so, uh, a married person who watch porn is probably much worse than someone who is homosexual and just trying to be happy. Uh, um, so now I don't know what's worse or better, but um, the point is you're not worse than anyone else and... Um, we all it's just a different challenge and um yeah so i i um i hope you understood what i said and um i hope you can comment i uh, would like to hear what you think about it what you have to say about it and um yeah i love you all and um hope we can walk together step by step uh, to to make, have a better understanding and make uh, our life, your life, better and stronger and easier.